type of work that you get when you hire somebody. Why pay for this? I'm going to show you how to fix this. Folks, if this is this if this is the type of work that you get when you hire somebody, why don't you just do it yourself? Why pay for this? I'm going to show you how to fix this. And isn't it true sometimes after you have a professional come in because you don't have the time to do something, when he leaves, sometimes you just go around and you touch up yourself, don't you? Are you like that too? Let me show you what I would do to fix this, make it look more beautiful. So we take yellow frog tape. Okay, the reason why you do that is because, now these cabinets, I'm told, are 40,000 bucks for the entire house. So they're good quality cabinets. Just look at that. Look at the quality on that. But what I want to tell you is assume that they're laminate and they're not good quality. And please always use the yellow tape. It's the least tacky of all the masking tapes so far on the market. And so that's yellow tape, even though it doesn't look yellow. I go all the way down. Not only am I going to cover that ugly white that you saw, right? I'm going to make a nice straight yellow line. But from my last video, for many of you who saw it, you know what the procedure is now. I'm just gonna put a little caulking in there. And you see that white? Somebody used white. Let's say if I used white caulking, that's what you'd see. This is clear. You're not going to see any color. It's going to, the color of this yellow paint is going to go right through the clear and give the impression that it's yellow. Nice, press it in nice. Get that finger in there, okay? I'm pushing really hard. One direction just so far yet. Up again, all right? Why are we doing that? We're clogging the tape so that nothing gets underneath it. Now, we're ready to paint it. Let's do that. With my five-in-one, it's actually more than a five-in-one. I did a video on this. There's a lot more to it. That's a knife in there. I penetrated the rim so that when I screwed my brush, I have some holes in the can that allow the paint to go into the well. Secondly, I have my purdy. This, have, this is what we're going to use for this. You see that it's semi-rigid? And so, that's the size brush that we're going to... You can use a bigger one or even a smaller one. But this is the one... I'm going to use for this task. The only thing you want to do right now is to be conscious of getting that paint on that cabinet. I start a little over toward the left and I bring it in there. That's it. Right? Am I painting the cabinet? Yes. You see, once cabinets get installed, there's a gap, naturally, between the cabinet and the wall, right? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna put caulking in there, and the caulking is going to touch your cabinet. So now that you have caulking touching your cabinet, you may as well paint it, right? Make it look nice. Now, I wet my paintbrush before I started doing this. Those bristles are wet. Look what I'm doing here, careful. You don't want this on the cabinet. 
Why am I doing this? Because I don't want my roller near these cabinets. Rollers throw paint. Does everybody know what centrifugal force is? Centrifugal force is that force that comes from momentum when you're spinning around. Let's say your car, God forbid, spun out. You see people and things fly out of the car. And what? They go in the direction of the point at which the object leaves the car if they're spinning in a circle. You go to a theme park, you go on a circular swing. If one of those things breaks off, it flies off, right? Well, when you're rolling paint here, it's spinning and spinning. And then when the paint comes off of that roller, this is where it's going, right there, because of that centrifugal force. It's literally throwing it onto the cabinet. And so I go about six to seven inches away from the cabinet without lifting my brush. And I put a coat of paint there because I don't want to go near it again. Okay, let's take the paint off. Let's take the tape off and see how we did. I think we will have done pretty good. Do you see this little, little tab I left for myself? Please remember to do that. Do you see any white lines anymore? No. That's what you want to avoid. Okay. And folks, the yellow tape is the best. It's the absolute best. <laughs>